Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to our lecture on leadership. B I W one 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 two or triple three two. This is our afternoon session. Our new topic will be on leadership and followership theory of L M X. The L M X stand for leaders. Members uh, exchange pertukaran pemimpin dan ahli. I've given you the headlet uh, activity discussion on discussing on the topic. The core topic will be on the LMX theory, and also later on Kahoot will cover also the topic on LMX relationship between leaders and followers. Let me share the screen. Padlet is the Padlet. I observe that you've been very efficient and competent in the sense that a very fast response was given. Um, topic started with Belinda. She has uh, quoted from a URL website on mindtools.com. That's that's the perhubungan of pertukaran pemimpin pengikut atau pemimpin dan ahli member exchange. Hubungan kualiti tinggi antara pemimpin dan pengikut berasaskan kepercayaan dan saling menghormati. Ada kritikan ya tentang teori ini sebab teori ini melihat eh, bermula dengan keraguan terhadap followers in the sense um, ada dua kategori pengikut pengikut yang pada level atas yang dipercayai dan dibawa dalam kumpulan so called in group uh, group dalaman yang kurang dipercayai dipanggil out group golongan luar And then uh, I see we have leader followers and then we have uh, and I may have to check out the dyadic relationship is here. Dyadic relationship. And dyadic means dual, eh? hubungan dua hala. Tapi dia menggunakan istilah dyadic. Dyadic means dual relationship, hubungan dua hala antara leader and follower. Yang ada hubungannya sama ada in group atau out group. Nanti as we go on, akan ada clear lah what do mean by in group and out group tu dan kritikan yang diterima tentang LMX ini kerana ianya if um, is a bit uh, choosy dia memilih untuk jadi in group tu yang out group tu kurang diberikan perhatian perhatian lebih kepada in group yang dikira sebagai tim pasukan yang boleh membantu apa pemimpin dalam leading and uh, developing the organization Let me stop sharing for a while and looking into your uh, system whereby I'm going to switch off the audio, mute all, so that you do not miss a uh, click and it will disturb the lecture. I will open on the microphone later on. Now let's go back to your um, padlet. Saya mungkin tak ulas panjang sebab ini akan diulas dalam kuliah nanti. Kita tengok what do you pick up discussion on LMX, LMX, LMX. Alif, come up with a picture. This is an image out of 80 images. Good leader, good follower. See, relationship antara keduanya. Good leader and good followers. Good leader, semua ada ciri-ciri trustworthy. Sama, sama, sama. So good followers produce good leaders and good leaders produce good or see ada X I mean exchange. Mesti ada exchange. It tak boleh one way or one way traffic. Ini mesti diadic. Mesti two ways. Dual. Diadic. That's the word. The element use the word diadic which is dual. Relationship. Mana follower tu dia bukan just blind followers uh, ikut secara buta saja. 
dia juga boleh membantu memberi cadangan pandangan uh, membantu leader to be good and uh, experience new ideas may come from um, the member or follower leader come with the website on the theory CLMX relationship based dyadic theory of relationship dyadic theory dual dual relationship those are the things discussed inside the uh, LMX LMX the LMX they dah membangun uh, from 2003 795 did bincang eh uh, R&D terlibat dalam R&D so maknanya ini sudah ada pembangunan terhadap dan tambah baik teori LMX ini sehingga ia dimasukkan dalam kategori leadership and culture perbincangan tentang leadership and culture okay so, back to like, have a look at others how ye say that to quality pengikut versus quality pemimpin this is an, an image an image Lauren Haikal be the member exchange LMX. See, a lot of things has been discussed. It's not something new. See, ini lah saya sebut in group and out group. Leader member ni, leader yang create. This is in group, yeah, hardcore. Um, next to the leader, macam consultant, macam macam team yang yang effective, yang active, yang passive sikit berada di luar out group. So ini dia punya team. Uh, working team so in group out group the question is at the separation at the discrimination because the leader choose in group ni maybe because of kawan baik ada hubungan keluarga things like that itu kritikannya tentang penentuan in group out group dalam LMX okay, let's go on let's go on Iman Daniel ada text in the text um, suggest that leaders and followers develop unique relationship, develop unique relationship based on their social exchanges, and the quality of these exchanges within an organization can influence the employee outcomes. Okay. Bila ada hubungan akrab antara kedua-dua pemimpin dan member itu harus ada kebenaran. Traf, sama di istri dan traf. Dinesh, role taking, role making, into uh, role, role function ini, ini ditentukan oleh leader ikut kategori yang ditentukan tadi in group dengan out group. Role lebih diberi kepada in group untuk thinking or think tank yang executive yang yang doing the things will be just outside the group outside the group yep okay that's good very proactive semua menye me, me join sama because this peddler mem, mem, menyediakan you all to follow the class and also to nah ini pun nak gambar raja tentang kita akan buat tengok gambar raja ini dalam nota kita nanti followership ini Kelly's model Survivor, dan katakan survivors. Uh, line passive sebelah kiri, line kanan ini active. So ini yes people dependent, bawa dependent atas independent. This is effective follower. Yang ada kecekapan kompeten follower. Ini yes people ni dia yang menyumbang sama alien alien alienated with the um, asing ikut yang terasing. Passive ini, dua ini passive, dua ini aktif. Baik ini hanya melaksanakan tugasan. Memberi sedikit pandangan bahawa yang efektif ni betul-betul macam um, orang kanan lah, pegawai kanan. Ini pegawai-pegawai. Ini yang pasif, sheep. Yang paling pasif sekali, sheep. Dia pasif dan dia dependent. Dia bergantung. Dia tidak ada critical thinking. Sheep. Biri-biri ni. Ini bila disebut sebagai pasif, uh, yang paling dependent kepada uh, 
pemimpin di, ber, bergantung pada pemimpin alienated isolated followers ya. ini dua ini mungkin termasuk dalam kelompokan orang yang uh, play safe lah dia play safe uh, dia diam saja dan menyokong apa saja ikut perkembangan politik contohnya begitulah keadaannya ini ya aktif dua ini but this one is more dependent this one is aktif ini paling baik adalah effective follower good ini kita akan bincang dan nota pun dia but you have gone through you found it that's very good Aziz Haikal Hari wah semua king link tat ya. saya dapat isyarat tadi daripada king yang lihat tentang aku lah yang tak boleh you all download uh, saya cuba lihat sistem pada malam ini nak give you Eh, isyarat bila it's ready for download. Uh, reformat it instead of Microsoft, uh, instead of PowerPoint into P PDF, into PDF, and then it will be another, another version of it to be download. Saya boleh compile pun download sekaligus all of the slide into one file pun boleh. Tengok nanti. Uh, yeah. Maya, Najiha, Najib. Okay, dan the last yang kita terima daripada Ijin. Ini ada complete duplicate tadi dah ada atas. Ini daily relationship. Okay, I think you we are ready to publish this one. Kita publish this one. Hari ini ada menarik sikit petang ni sebab kita akan uji your capability whether you are a follower or you are a leader. Ada nanti dalam TBT terakhir dalam um, dalam dalam kita punya activity on meter mentimeter mentimeter we have a mentimeter on are you a leader or a follower uh, but we'll we'll finish up with this uh, pedal activity and uh, we'll publish it first on pdf publish pdf i think we also be having more than 15 pages out of the publication that we've done that you either ship chips in so we'll see uh, how many pages together 14 pages 14 pages page one two three four five six seven eight nine ten page eleven twelve thirteen and last page on page 14 your name is recorded there and your idea is also recorded now let's again uh, we're gonna copy the url but we have to shorten it otherwise it's too long we're waiting for the uh, hmm? annotation request no where is it um here it is gonna shorten it Create, create, create the long URL. Create. This is DEK4. This one it was three, so it become four. Save. Copy, copy it and uh, put uh, the URL, show the URL inside our um, telegram. That's it. Uh, not to forget also, we're going to copy the code, QR code. Copy the QR code, copy image. And I'll go back to our telegram. That's the image, the QR code. Okay, now, okay, now let's go back to our action notes. Let's have a look at this video on leadership versus followership a false dichotomy dichotomy means classification categorization category yang palsu kata di video ini tentang leadership and followership so we'll look at we'll look at i want to listen to jen baker speak about leadership and followership she's the assistant director of athletics and cornell she was in the navy she was a pilot and an engineer she was the sort of person who I would describe as an inspirational role model. When people told her that she couldn't do something, she had to prove them wrong, and she was always looking for the hardest, most challenging thing to accomplish. Her talk was about who has the power, leader or followers, 
Without followers that trust and support the leader, the leader has no power. Leaders also commonly have advisors to help them. For example, the president has a whole cabinet to help them. A good leader listens to the advice of more experienced people who may happen to be followers of this leader. This would make following an important part of being a good leader. And being a good follower doesn't mean that you try to follow blindly, but it means you try to help the group and know when to try and advise the leader and help them make good decisions. So a good follower must know when to take a step up. In this is model Kelly that we're going to discuss uh, in our um, lecture note, but it's also I mentioned inside uh, the padlet of your discussion. I mentioned about the um, lead for a bit. Mentally. Another example of how leadership and could just be a person on a team who, by their good work, inspires other people. They're a follower because they're just on the team like everyone else. But they're leading. For example, a freshman on a team often will look to the sophomore members for help and advice, even though the sophomore members are usually not the captains of the team, so they lead, but they're also following at the same time. This shows that leadership and followership are often hard to distinguish. We're often told that leadership is important and we need to be a leader. But since leadership and followership go hand in hand, why are we never told to be a good follower? See, a good leader is not because of the power he belongs to, he, he possesses, but because of the ability to empower, he empower, delegate power from per Memper, memperkasakan uh, empowerment orang lain. Follower who supports and helps and advises a leader. Why isn't advising a leader considered a good role? I found this talk to be very interesting and thought provoking since it really questions what we're taught about leadership and followership. And Jen Baker being a very inspirational and driven person. The video was talking about the number four. This is high leader ability. This is high follower ability to the right uh, going up. Number four is the best. Good leader, good follower. Good follower can this can advise the leader and good leader could share implementation with the follower. This is the worst of all. Lousy leader, lousy follower. This one. Ah, yes, leader very weak, but uh, follower very good. But if one leader very good, but the follower is lousy. So one, two, three is not good. Number four is the best one. So number four is more of LMX in group. Now, before we go to the personality test, I'm going to test your personality. We're going to have a look at the lecture notes. Oh, lecture notes. It's open already. Present, present. I'm going to start with this LMX. Surely, to be in the LMX, diperkenalkan oleh Dan Seru and Green Haga, 1975. Dibangunkan 1976 and so on. Penambah baikan berterusan, berguna minat pengkaji dan ilmuwan dalam bidang kepimpinan. Teori ini bertentangan dengan andaian bahawa pemimpin menganggap Mengikut sebagai satu kumpulan dan secara kolektif. Teori ini bertentangan dengan ada semikian sebab actually LMS membezakan antara ketua dan pengikut. Cuma kalau kita go into detail, they will talk about uh, hubungan um, role taking, siri interaksi dan timbal balas, timbal balik. Start with the role taking, ahli-ahli atau pengikut Masuki organisasi, so dinilai bakat, kemampuan, talent, pengikut, yang ke awal. Dan barulah role making, bincang secara informally, peranan yang boleh dimainkan dalam organisasi. And then role routinization, tiba balik sosial, uh, dicorakkan. Routinization, let's go on. Akhirnya timbul the diadic pemimpin, diadic, the dual relationship. Hubungan pemimpin dan pengikut. Uh, Diadik. Dual lah. Uh, dua hal lah. Uh, dalam teori LMX, unique cultures. Seorang pemimpin, seorang dilihat sebagai 
Sili diet, menegak. Diet, dietic is adjective. Diet itu nama. Vertical diet, saya menegak. That, uh, hubungan tu unik. Antara in group will be orang bawahan yang ada, yang dipercayai, yang ada based on this. Mutual trust, ada respect, ada reciprocal influence, pengaruh yang timbal balik. Reciprocal influence. Yang dipercayai, saling mempercayai, hormat dan suka dan uh, pengaruh reciprocal. Pengaruh mempengaruhi. Ini in group. Eh? In group. Ini in group. Ini out group. In group ini bagi tiga plus. Three plus mean high quality relationship. Ini kosong, tak ada hubungan lah. Tidak ada hubungan mutual trust, tidak ada respect, tidak ada reciprocal influence. Tidak ada mempengaruh, mempengaruhi, tidak ada hormat dan sayang, tidak ada percaya yang percaya. But this one, three itu ada tiga perkara. Respect liking itu sama lah. Trust, respect liking and reciprocal influence, tiga. So, three plus. Three plus di antara subordinate A, B and C. Ini subordinate satu, dua dan tiga. Mungkin tiga orang kalau empat, enam orang. Subordinate A, B, C, D. Subordinate. Subordinate means orang bawahan, direct. Uh, leader dengan subordinate, member lah. Seperti atau member. Kalau tidak ada percaya, mempercayai, respect lagi yang seproker, masih kosong. Just bagi arahan, dia buat tugas. Bagi arahan, dia buat tugas. Ini bincang, syarat dan sebagainya. So, out group. It's called out group. In, in group. Atau focus group. In group will be focus group. Out group will be a bit of isolated. So, ini dipanggil diet atau dietic. Uh, relationship in group has the privilege over the out group model halamex kita ulas sikit in group tadi biasanya kumpulan dalaman ini dapat maklumat keyakinan perhatian kepercayaan dengan keterlibatan lebih tinggi komunikasi lebih kerap dia selalu jumpa dengan pemimpin syuarat dan sebagainya berbanding dengan kumpulan luaran out group yang kurang serasi, kurang kesesuaian, hanya jalankan tugas saja. Gambarnya. F stand for followers. Eh? In group, followers. Out group, jarak, jarak, jarak. Followers. F stand for followers. Status kumpulan dalaman atau kumpulan luar bergantung kepada sejauh mana era hubungan antara orang bawahan dengan pemimpin. Jadi pemimpin yang tentukan. Jadi, The, the leader will categorize whether this person in, will fall under in group or out group. Kosa yang mula masuk tu be out group kot. Kecuali sudah ada hubungan erat dengan pemimpin sebelum masuk. Pemimpin itu dijemput masuk contohnya. Gantung pada sejauh mana seorang pemimpin mampu bekerja dengan orang bawahan. Dia bergantung juga pada penglibatan orang bawahan dalam menjalankan tugas dan tanggungjawab. Dan pemimpin yang menentukan sama ada berada dalam kumpulan dalaman atau luaran. Untuk jadi sebagian daripada kumpulan dalaman, banyak bergantung kepada kemampuan orang bawahan melakukan tugas, tanggungjawab. Melangkaui terma rasmi, the TOT, term of reference. Uh, TOR, term of reference. Yang ditentukan. Kesan positif kepimpinan LMX, positifnya ialah kadar bilangan keluar masuk. The turnover pekerja rendah, tak ada yang letak jawatan, yang berhenti, tak ada turn over tu kurang atau tak ada langsung penilaian prestasi yang lebih positif penilaian tahunan sasaran kerja tahunan sentiasa naik positif kadang promosi kenaikan kerja yang lebih tinggi komitmen penglibatan tinggi terhadap organisasi semua positif bermotivasi melakukan tugasan ini kesan positif um, perhatian sokongan daripada ketua sekutu support dan bagi Appreciation, perkembangan kerja yang lebih cepat dan tepat. Itu kesan positif. Konsep kepengikutan, the followership tadi. Dalam atau luar. Seorang pengikut berkongsi hubungan dan pengaruh antara pemimpin dan pengikut. Yang lain untuk menyokong pemimpin. Mencerminkan kesepakatan tujuan. Di pandangan Roger A.D. Robert E. Kelly, yang ini E. Kelly yang kita akan lihat gambar nanti. Uh, apa yang membezakan antara pengikut yang efektif dengan tidak efektif ialah keterujaan. The excited. Excitement. Dia, dia ceria, dia gembira untuk kerja. Pintar dan berdikari. Pemotivasi dalam mencapai matlamat organisasi. 
um, dua bentuk pemikiran yang efektif dan tidak efektif. Efektif itu yang kritikal, peka dan kesan tindakan juga ahli lain yang mencapai peka. Kritikal. Yang tidak kritikal just membayangkan perkara yang melangkau, tidak tidak berjaya, gagal. Dia sekadar terima arahan bulat-bulat lah. Blind follower lah, this is blind follower. Tidak efektif, tidak efektif adalah blind followers. Terima arahan bulat-bulat. Nah, ini kita tunjukkan sama Kelly tadi kan. Kita dah bincang tu. Uh, ini dependent atas independent. Aktif sebelah kanan. So, this is the most effective one. Ini ikut-ikut tapi dia dependent. Dia dependent tapi dia termasuk dalam kelas aktif. Ini pasif, dua-dua ini pasif. Ini independent, ini this one dependent. Ikut arahan saja. Dependent and uncritical, this will be the blind follower. Ini alienate, alienated ni. Isolated ni dia pasif. Tapi dia ada agenda ada sendirilah dia dan dia saja. Buat kerja just good enough to survive. Ni kalau klik pun we go to the page uh, that describe describe uh, more exclusively. If you want to see it, just click control and then push the button. It will open HTML. Ya, belum apa lagi. Ada ah, buka lah. Is it? Um, okay. Um, Kelly in his work uh, design sheep, yes, people, alien, survivor yang sama. Sama kita punya survivor. Tengah-tengah ni survivor sekadar untuk hidup je. Cari makan je. Dia paling baik efektif. Number two, yes, people. Ini pasif. Yang paling pasif adalah sheep. Si alienated. With the isolated followers and the CC. Sheep will be very passive. And dependent. Dia bergantung pula. Ini dia kurang, kurang bergantung independent. Cuma dia ikut apa yang boleh ikut. Yes, people. Ini dia dependent tapi active. Still active. Just say yes, boss. Boss ku apa malu. Yes, boss ini. Uh, Um, survivor effective. The effective will be a very good one. Self leadership will be that. That's it. To top this one, go back to the notes. Um, this is our note. Okay. Next slide. Model ke pengikutan Kelly ini lah tadi. Alienated ini. Alienated yang terasing yang isolated. Passive tapi berdikari. Perfikiran kritis dan yakin diri. Fokus kepada kelemahan organisasi dan yes people ini. Yes people. Ini number two. Number one baik ini yang number dua. Dia uh, aktif tapi dependent. Yes people ikut yang setiasa mengikut konformis. Dia konformis dia ikut. Dia. Aktif berpartisipasi tapi kurang menggunakan kemahiran. Fikir secara kreatif. Kerjanya bagus. Melibatkan diri dan sekorela. Banyak sekorela. Dan memikirkan kurang bikin kesan tindakan just follow saja tapi ada creativity mengelakkan konflik uh, yang paling, paling pasif ni ship ni ship ada fikiran kita tak berdikari tak aktif lakukan apa diarahkan saja efektif ni paling baik berfikiran kritis aktif dalam organisasi tak tak mengelakkan dalam konflik dan mengambil risiko bertindak secara sukarela pragmatik yang survivor tadi tu pragmatik Kriteria yang menjadi efektif, mengikut efektif, yang baik tadi efektif, eh? sanggup memberi pandangan dan pendirian. Bila diminta pandangan, beri pandangan dan uh, dia punya standpoint. Berani, pikul tanggungjawab, berani berkhidmat, mencabar dan menerima cabaran. Uh, melibatkan diri dalam transformasi. Uh, lastly, banalis, tinggalkan sesuatu yang dirasakan kurang sesuai. Itu yang efektif. Uh, perwakilan dan pemberian kuasa. Nah, ini empowerment. Pemerdayaan. Empowerment. Pemerdayaan. Pemberdayaan. Pemberdayaan. Empower. Beri kuasa. Rujuk kepada kemampuan melakukan sesuatu aktiviti walaupun tak dapat halangan daripada pihak lain. No. Kuasa. Empowerment itu rujuk kepada persekitaran yang mana seorang itu punya Bayangkan keyakinan kami untuk melakukan tanggungjawab bagi meningkatkan proses menggunakan tindakan dalam mencapai organisasi. Empowerment. Delegasi. 
pembagian tugas dan tanggung jawab kepada ahli dalam sebuah organisasi pembagian tugas delegasi ini adalah istilah yang digunakan dalam organisasi sumber kuasa kepimpinan tertinggi empowerment kepimpinan tertinggi turunkan kepada dekan-dekan struktur jabatan jabatan delegasi wakil akan agi agi tugas yang lebih kecil so ini macam piramid kuasa lah ini atas sekali bawah sikit ini lebih tempat buat kerja yang buat kerja tu apa delegasi pemberdayaan empowerment dan pemberian kuasa delegasi empowerment dan delegasi berlaku dalam organisasi sebab berikut satu menggunakan kebergantungan hanya kepada bos orang tertentu saja meningkatkan keupayaan keyakinan kepada semua ahli dalam organisasi untuk melaksanakan tugas em, dan function role functioning role dan responsibility secara lebih berkesan pemberdayaan dan pemberi kuasa means empowerment dan the delegation membangunkan perasaan bertanggungjawab dan semua ahli organisasi uh, atas tugasan dan tanggungjawab yang dipikul rasli banal list to raise the potential of the organization organisasi organisasi ditingkatkan melalui peningkatan komitmen dan participation of members of the organization Hubungan pemimpin dengan pengikut ini tajuk terakhir kita dalam perkuliahan ini nota and then we go to activity. Hubungan pemimpin dan pengikut harus ada persekitaran yang sumbangan pengikut lebih berinovasi dan berkreativiti. Pemimpin menggalakkan perkembangan membangun di kalangan pengikut supaya melangkaui tugas yang diberi. Ada value add, ada nilai tambah kepada tugas yang diberi disokong disokong dan dipanggungkan oleh pemimpin pemimpin selalu berminat dengan gambaran besar tugasan pengikut berbanding dengan pengurus dia ingin melihat pengikut yang pengurus ni level 2 ya bos bos dia ingin lihat orang bawah tu yang yang mainkan peranan besar pemimpin motivasi pengikut melalui pendekatan yang personal dan bentuk tak nyata seperti persa ambil berat di soft skill dan soft skill motivasi soft skill pemimpin memberikan makna baru a new meaning terhadap apa tentang tugas tentang dia new meaning ada mesti ada dia tiari bekerja jalankan tugas tu ada new meaning of function new meaning of life yang benda yang sama saja dilakukan that's the end of the notes now let's go back to let's go back to our yulan Now, when you learn, now we gonna test your personality. You all akan jawab 10 soalan, jawab 10 soalan dan nanti kita check score, your score marks. Bermula dengan video penerangan dulu. You have 15 second to answer each question. 15 saat untuk jawab setiap soalan. Pilih A, B, atau C. Dan nanti kau klik point. Then find the result. Remember you are jawab. So get get a pen atau kertas. Pen dan kertas tulis. Satu A, B, dua A, B. Tulis. Tulis. Tulis jawapan tu. Satu A, dua B. Tulis kan eh. You have to put it down. Mungkin kalau you pakai laptop. Boleh pakai buka notes ke. Pakai Microsoft Word ke. Then you gonna type. Soalan satu jawapannya apa? What is your answer? Nanti setiap answer tu ada score mark. Ya? Score mark nanti the point tu kita akan check. Okay, ready? Ya? I let you ready with the pen and paper ataupun on on your word, Microsoft Word atau Notepad. Ready? Ya? Soalan dan jawapan. Question one. I quickly feel drain when in in a large crowd of people. Kalau orang ramai kan orang ramai kita terasa terpinggir lah, kita terasa terpinggir, terasa tersisi. Kalau orang ramai, ya ke tidak ke? Sometimes jawab pilih satu jawab A atau B atau C. Nanti markah point tu akan diberi. Di hujung jawapan tu. Leave it to you all. I think I need to 
on the slide on the audio so that you can I'm gonna on the audio so that you can respond pada apa-apa masalah kan I just unmute all you boleh say something kalau ada masalah ketika menjawab saya akan share balik share balik uh, yep that one okay semua dah jawab dah saya dah open microphone dah uh, okay now go to question 2 So, you're, you're dalam jawapan tu dia satu A, B atau C. Tentu jawapan saja. Satu A ke B ke. Markah akan diberi di hujung nanti. Now, go to question two. Question two. When someone is upset, I try to understand how he or she is feeling. Ada seorang tu dia dah kecewa, feel down. Saya orangnya yang kecuba memahami perasaan dia. Yang mana empathy ni empathy. Saya cuba memahami. You respond. Yes, no or sometimes. Just say dua A atau B atau C. Satu jawapan saja. When you finish say okay ya, eh? saya akan teruskan. Anybody say okay? Okay, thumbs up. Kang Li, Hazi pun sudah thumbs up. Okay, go to the next question. Question three. I enjoy telling others what to do. Saya seronok kalau saya boleh arahkan orang you buat ni you buat ni you buat ni you buat ni ha ni macam um, dia mengarahkan orang lah. directive direction i enjoy saya sono telling others what to do dia yes never or sometimes telling ya bukan bukan advising ni telling ni dia mengarah directing others to do what to do i'm directing saya memberi arahan Signal if you are ready. If you are finished. Okay, I am Iman Daniel has come up with a thumbs up. Kang Li Hazik. Okay, we proceed. And to question four. I get upset often. In the workplace, tempat kerja saya itu saya selalu kecewa lah, rasa tak selesa lah. I get upset often in the workplace. Kalau you all dalam kelas lah, in class you feel upset, uh, tak happy lah. Yes, no or sometimes. Yes, no or sometimes. So number four, A, B or C. Fahim Alif, thumbs up. Okay, next question. Hansik can leave it, can leave that. Okay. Question 5 coming, question 5. Hate is something, hate is something I try to avoid, if at all possible. Kalau boleh lah, kalau mampu lah. Soal membenci itu suatu yang saya cuba jauhi. I don't want to say I hate. Saya tak mau cakap saya benci, benci, benci. I would like to avoid, if if at all, kalau boleh lah, saya tak mau cakap benci. Is it a good leadership? Yourself, do you feel that way? Say yes, A. No, B. C is sometimes. Waiting for your signal. Dan record lah. Jawapan. Thank you, Azri. Ha Hazik. Now we proceed. Ilim Shifeng. Darwish. Muhammad Nur Hazik. Question 6. I feel threatened when someone criticizes me. Kalau ada orang kritik, ada orang komen saya, saya rasa tercabar, tergugat, terganggu. Saya tak selesa lah kalau ada orang kritik saya. Saya tak suka kalau orang komen-komen. I feel threatened. I'm not happy. I feel inconvenient. Is it yes, A? No, B? C for sometimes. Proceed with the answer. Keru has said yes. Thumbs up. 
one more thumbs up and then we proceed. Okay, highly Rosely, thank you. Now we play. Continue. Iman Daniel. Now question seven. I am optimistic. Say positive. Say yakin about life. Wow, any optimistic. I believe in life. I'm I'm positive in life. Say optimistic. Say yes, A, B, no, C sometimes. Anybody signaling to proceed? Waiting for your signal. Say seven. Okay, Nakiuddin, Faris, Hahazik. Nakiuddin, Nur Alina, Darwish. Okay, proceed. I like to have the final say always. Saya suka biarlah saya yang buat keputusan. The final say is to decide. Let me decide lah. Jangan ada orang lain. I like to have the final say always. Saya memang suka let, let me decide the result. Determine the result. Let me decide. Let me resolve the problem. Final say from me. So your answer is 8A, 8B or 8C. Signal if you want to continue. We have two more questions. Alif, Hahazik, Lim Shifeng, thank you. Faris, Khairi Rusli. Naki Yudin, Kero, Nur Farzana. Question 9. I make time to learn what people need from me so that they can be successful. I make time to learn. Saya um, memperuntukkan masa untuk mempelajari apa yang orang lain perlu dari saya supaya mereka juga boleh berjaya i want them to be successful so i spend my time to learn what do they need from me what can i sumbangkan what can i provide support and help and assistance to you i want you i want they to be successful your your answer a b or c a yes b no c sometimes ni juga empathy ni Question 9. We got the last question. Waiting for your signal. Last question 10. Thank you, Hahazik. One more signal. Okay, Mama Azri and Drawish and Hyudin. Okay, ready. Last question. The last question. Question 10. I answered honestly because I wanted to see the most true result. Saya dengan jujurnya akan menjawab kerana saya mahukan keputusan-keputusan uh, yang paling benar dan tepat. Keputusan yang paling tepat, the most true result. So, I answer honestly. Jawapan saya, saya berikan jawapan saya secara jujur dan ikhlas. I want to see the most true result. Yes, no, or sometimes, sometimes. Okay, result sudah keluar. Uh, semua dah finish up. Okay, apa arahan ni kena buat? Okay. Now, ini you kena buat. Sekarang tengok balik. 1A dapat kosong. 1B dapat 2. 1C dapat 1. Kalau you dapat 1C, dapat 1 markah. 2, apa jawapan you? Campur markah ni. Count all your point to find out your result. Campur semua. Campur your markas ini, markas ini, markas ini. Total berapa you punya markas? Score, your score. Kalau soalan 10, you jawab C. So, you dapat 1. Soalan 10, you dapat A. Jawapannya 2. So, campur lah 2, campur 2, campur 2. Campur markah-markah you ni. Ini rubrik markah. Ini matrix markah. Matrix markah. And then campur you. Sini campur, sini berapa skor, berapa skor, berapa skor, total berapa di hujung ni. Sini berapa skor, berapa skor, di hujung ni berapa total. I leave it to you. I will give you some two minutes to calculate, to count all your points. And then to tengok result tu. Result maximum adalah 22. Result minimum adalah kosong. Maximum result adalah 22.
Darwis 11, Keru 14. Okay. Saya dapat isyarat, you all has ready. Kalau dah ready, okay, this is the activity. Our next activity is, uh, you will put your number dalam Mentimeter. Wait a moment, I'm going to open the Mentimeter. This one, kita keluar sekejap. I'm bringing you to the Mentimeter. Go to Mentimeter. Click Mentimeter. Mentimeter. The code number is, the code number is, the code number is, um, let me get the code number. 603079 and then answer this is it yang kosong hingga 13 click this one 14 hingga 22 click this one nak tengok percentage berapa orang dapat tak lebih 13 berapa orang dapat 14 hingga 22 baru seorang je answer dua answer tiga answer semua 14 ke atas ok dapat Sebelah peratus. Okay, naik, naik. Wah, at the moment, orang ada 12. Kelas ini 50 lebih. Ini balance, balance yang terkedua tu. Okay. 70%, 83%. 31. Ini jumlah yang menjawab sekarang ni. 33, 34, 34, 35, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41. Kita nak tengok at least 54 orang daripada kelas ni. Haris is clapping. Thank you Haris. Haris kelas clapping. <laughs> Applauding. Waktu itu, nampak majority go to 14 and above ni. At the moment lah. Nak you them love. Thank you. Mana lagi ni? Belum complete lagi. Kelah ni ada 55 orang semuanya. 45, okay. Proceed, proceed. Tak habis calculate lagi tadi lah. Proceed. Empat puluh enam. Ada empat puluh enam orang yang jawab. It's already majority. Uh, but berapa puluh peratus adalah empat belah ke atas. Empat puluh tujuh. Okay. Now we come seventy nine. Twenty one percent. Below fourteen. Fourteen and above. Empat puluh sembilan. Ah, dapat lima puluh. Good, good. Nampak ada penyertaan tu. Continue, continue. 51. Okay, we are reaching now. We have reached our target. 51. 52. Wow. Ni kita akan record nanti ni. 52 saja. Okay lah, 52. I'm going to record now. Um, um, to record it, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to snapshot this one. New snapshot se lima puluh dua orang memberikan penyertaan dalam ni kan dan lapan puluh satu versus eight nineteen lapan puluh satu versus nineteen mana kita beri telegram kita telegram kita record pada sana apa arti sembilan belas peratus tu apa apa arti lapan puluh satu peratus nak guna show you 52. Tadi berapa? Kita rekod tadi berapa? The one record is 50. 52. Betul lah. Tak ada perubahan. 52. So, 81 versus 19. 81 versus 19. Oh, oh. 81 versus 19. Status? Okay. 81 versus 19. So, 19 peratus ni apa? 19 peratus apa? Okay. Let's go back to the video. Saya akan tunjukkan you all. Result. the result. 
Kosong yang ketiga belah perata, you are follower. So, sembilan belah perata, student kelas kita follower. You are easy going and you are fine with whatever everyone else want to do. You do what everyone else does and you seem to be happy with that. But yang 81 perata tu, you are leader, you are leader, you are confident and brave. You have confidence in yourself and what you believe and you set an example for others. Yeah, so congratulations. Our class is very good. 19 perata follower, 81 perata Born to be leader. Born to be a leader. That's it. Test your mind. Finish. Now, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the result of your... The result of your... Um, abilities be a follower or leader. See, congrats, congrats. Now, lastly but not least, don't forget our Kahoot. Click on the Kahoot, click on the Kahoot, and then we are here. Kahoot, wait for the pin number. While waiting for the pin number, I'm gonna stop sharing. Allow me to. Set up the so-called pin number, pin number, pin number for leadership and followership. Start. I'm generating now. It's loading, 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 loading game pin. Get ready to join. The pin number is seven six five five nine eight. Gonna share with you all. Six five nine eight. I'm gonna share with you all so that you can join us.
yellow, 49, got it correct, 49 result. As Vanilla Maya, Alia Keith, wow, these are all new faces, good. Question two. Surprisingly, number of, there are four students make a mistake. Fifty-two majority. Vanilla still in lead, followed by Alif Hazik. Oh, Chulin, new face coming. Question three. Focus on what? LMX. <laughs> Got it correct. There are four again, four problematic. Subordinates means members. Subordinates, they are members. Ah, Alif is taking the leadership, taking over the leadership for my Azwan, Azwanila. Musharraf is up now. What is a criticism of the MSP? be this one I mentioned to you all special attention to a group of in group and then they put aside those uh, outside out group so yeah should be red one Jonathan wow new faces now Jonathan Ian G Valen Nazan and Zulfaka they are all new faces congrats at least you done masuk uh, in the top five in list True or false, dyadic relationship, dyadic. <clears throat> Got it correct. Now, Jonathan still in lead. Ian, Jonathan, see? Good. Top 5 is berubah tu. The strength of LMX. <laughs> All of the above. Senang kan jawab all of the above. Ah, now let's go on with the next one. And the result, ah, Jivelan. Chris is coming in. Dinesh also, Fatin Halif. At least semua dah jejak. Top 5. Question 7. Define followership. Individual follow a leader. Individual follow a leader. That's it. Leading at the moment, oh, Jay Villan has been given a flame streak with seven correct answers in a row. Tuju. So Alan, Sir Baris. Terus, betul. Good. Caleb, ah, Caleb, nama, nama baru masuk. Caleb, Caleb. Now, essence of fellow, followership, followership is.
Saya betul-betul ikut saya punya ajaran tadi. I mention to you. All of the above. Senang. You buat all of the above. Uh, 45 got it correct. Now, Javel and Steel in the lead. Muka baru Anik. Anik. Ada 23 pemain yang hit answers. Uh, straight for empat jawapan betul-betul betul. 23 orang. Si rekod. Followership is not obedience. Not obedience. That's the word blind. Saya beberapa kali sebut tadi. Blind obedience. Blind followership. Dia bukan blind. 27 got it correct. Ah, Syahril, new face coming. Coming muka baru, Farzana and Saidato. Good. Tiga soalan lagi. What does followership mean? Dia punya kerelaan dia untuk ikut leader. Jangan konflik management. Capacity and willingness to follow a leader. Good. 31. That's majority. Next. <coughs> Rizal Haris is in lead now. Jonathan balik semula. Ian pun balik. Dua soalan terakhir. 11 and 12. Yes, yes or no. True or false. <coughs> Wah, wow. this is unanimously secara ijma, secara menyeluruh. Good followership will help the leader to be good leader. Good, true. Haris is in lead, followed by Farzana and others. Now we reach the last session, the last round. That will decide who will be the champion and the top five students. Difference between leadership and followership. Wow, 50 of you, 50 out of 56 actually. One did not answer. Two and three. So, the result, champion of the session is top five. Just at the podium. Number three goes to Harris. Number two goes to Farzana. Champion is... the result. That is number one and another. All great. So the champion for the first time. to all the champion is Harris and all the top five at the podium we have run us up <coughs> Ian and Jonathan it's it uh, uh, we have reached uh, the end of our session wonderful and uh, we will now open to discussion <coughs> I will now uh, stop sharing open to discussion do you want to say anything at all um, Unmute on. You could say 
on the audio, you could say on the chat, and you could also just give your emoji, your reaction, your reaction. I'm giving you a celebrate confetti. Two minutes only. Open to all. Audio, chat, or emoji reaction. Thank you, Hazi, Go away, Shing, Alia, Christina, Ahmad, Daniel. Ian Yu Jung Jung, Iman Daniel, Ahmad Daniel, the studio Daniel, Alia Safia, and the rest, Lim Jiwi, Jonathan, Isharaf, Naji, Muhammad Af is very good. Darwish, Alif again, I mean Daniel once more. Chiu Lim with the tortoise, Darwish with the rabbit, Flame, uh, Fahim, Fire, on fire, Fahim. And that's it. Oh, thumbs up from our friend. Thank you. Thumbs up. Ahmad Daniel. There was Ahmad Daniel. Good. And Hazi was laughing. Thanks to you all. And uh, hopefully you are, you'll do a group discussion for the group coursework. Don't forget that one. Do not forget that one. And till then, Allah Alhamdulillah. Thanks a lot for being with us. I will now stop recording. The recording, uh, if you wish, I could uh, make my effort to put inside our you learn next week you will sing it and one one more one more reminder is we'll be having a quiz official quiz next week inshallah next week uh, it's not on kahoot but it's more of on uh, google sheet or microsoft form so there'll be marks given to you all there'll be marks the mark will come directly on the sheet and next week inshallah till then thanks a lot thanks you thanks for the love Congratulations to the winners. Yeah. Grateful to have you, Datuk. Thanks a lot. Okay, then. That's it. Remember, I mentioned to you. Ahmad uh, <laughs> uh, Daniel. He opened. Ah, thanks a lot. <laughs> bravo, bravo to you all. Okay, then. Thanks you. And then, Allah Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.